Mary, and today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. This is kind of a new video for me to do, and so it's going to be a little rough, but I'm really excited to share these kinds of things with you. I didn't read enough books in February, I don't think, to just do a what I read in February video, but I do have a couple of the favorite books that I read this month. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Tales of the Tales from the Shadowhunters Academy. Uh, by Cassandra Clare, Sarah S. Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. And I hope I pronounced all of those right. And this takes place after City of Heaven and Fire, and the main character in this one is Simon, and that's all I can tell you without spoilers happening. The next book that I read this month was Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty, and I actually got to meet him last November when I was at Y'all Fest, and this time he came to Knoxville and I was able to go back home for the weekend and be able to pick this book up, read it while in line, and then get to meet him. And he signed it for me, and it says, To Mary, so good to see you again, Robert Beatty. And they also gave me this little Serafina pin. which is fantastic. It's super cute. It matches the Serafina on the cover of the book. And uh, I was also wearing this sweater while um, at this book signing, and he has three daughters. And he was like, this pin will go so great with your sweater, which the coloring actually does work pretty well. So um, 10 dead points for you. Uh, Serafina and the Black Cloak takes place around the lore and historical happenings in, Bilt, in the Biltmore Estate. If you have been to the Biltmore Estate in North Carolina, it is gorgeous. It's the largest residence house in the United States, at least of its time. I'm not sure if it's been passed up yet, but you can go on tours of it. In the first book, he was able to go on tours and learn a little bit about the history of the area which he lives in right now. He lives in that area around now, so about now. Uh, so he's constantly getting all of these folklore and information about the history of the area, which is fantastic. And the Vanderbilts, who built Biltmore, actually read the book, loved it, and gave him full access to the entire house. So cool. So he can go and ask to see any room, even if it's not on a tour, and just sit there and write and describe so that it's very accurate. Uh, the next book that I read was uh, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. It's the first Lauren Oliver book that I read. This book comes out, or the movie for this book comes out on March 3rd, and so I definitely wanted to read the book before I saw the movie. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good adaption. Um, I'm very excited to go see it. It's got a similar concept to Groundhog Day, which is uh, when the guy starts like repeating the day over and over and over again, uh, except this book also deals with um, teenage issues like bullying, which is something that lots of people do go through, and so uh, this is definitely a really good read and I highly recommend it. The last book that I'm still going through currently in the month of March, but I picked up again in February, was a book that my dad made me read when I was in middle school. I deal with anxiety, and so this is a book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. And it's by Richard Carlston, PhD, and uh, it's like page chapters, like each chapter is like a page, maybe two. Um, and it's like simple ways to let life roll off your back and not get sucked into all of these small things and focus on the big picture and it's fantastic. I highly recommend it whether you have anxiety or not. This is an amazing book. It gives lots of fun tips. There's also a version specifically for teens and it's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and it's all small stuff for teens. And I would also pick that one up um, if you want that. But it's basically the same thing, just kind of a little bit gauged towards the age a little better. I have both copies. Uh, I've lent out my teenage one for right now, and I'm currently reading this one again. And it's fantastic. Very highly recommend this one. 
So the rest of this video is basically going to be the favorites of the month. And so first, this is Frank. He is my succulent. They're the cactuses that don't have the spikes on them. And they have like aloe inside, and they're great. And uh, my friend Emily is an RA, and one of her programs was uh, a mug of nature. So she got little succulents and had people put them in a mug. And then I put stickers on Frank so that I can name him. And it's great. So I like water him every Wednesday, and he's my friend. So he's definitely one of my favorite things about this month. Another one of my favorites was uh, this purifying black charcoal mask. I tried this the other night and it was amazing. It has uh, green tea extract and green caviar extract and you leave it on for like 15 minutes and uh, then you pull it off and my face just like glowed. It was so cool. And especially when you're in need of a spa day. This was like two bucks at Walmart and it was just a very nice relaxing thing and I loved it. It was fantastic. It's from the Su AE beauty product line. I'm not a beauty guru. But yeah. Another thing that I've absolutely loved is my planner. I got my planner this month because my old planner that was a a school semester planner so it had like the fall and then the spring and this one's just January through December um, but the other one was falling apart so I needed a new one and this one is made with recycled paper um, it's got like important personal information important dates uh, holidays and then so you have like the big main calendar and then they have um, notes and stuff and then they have the like individual days and so I have things color coded by uh, what I need so like purple is personal like going to swing dance uh, pink is church or youth group um, green is my RA job uh, blue is my service work and my bookstore work and orange is classes and so I've got like them nice and color coded so that I get to stay organized and coloring them is very calming. So I've very much enjoyed this and it's cute and sparkly. Um, another thing that I've enjoyed is I got out this packet of notebooks that my roommate got me for Christmas last year. I'm currently using those and then I found these at uh, Hobby Lobby for like $3.99. And they're like all different sizes, and they've got like they're like the lined they're the lined ones. And I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I'm going to Texas later this semester, so hopefully I'll get to use one of these as like a little mini travel journal, um, along with my regular journal. And I think I'm going to get a Polaroid camera later in March, and I'll be able to take pictures and like stick them in that, and that'll be fantastic and amazing. I need new adjectives. One of the other things I want to share with you guys, speaking of classes, is that I'm currently taking ASL, which is American Sign Language, and I'm, so, my name's Mary, I'm learning to sign ASL, but I'm not fluent. Hopefully, one day I will be able to sign throughout all of my videos, which would definitely open up our community, our little community, into a much bigger community uh, that definitely is looking for room to grow. And I would love to be able to welcome the deaf community into uh, our little YouTube world. Until until I'm able to sign throughout all of my videos, and even after that, I would love to be able to. Uh, put subtitles at the bottom of the screen but I know and I know that the YouTube subtitles shouldn't even be called subtitles or closed captioning or whatever because uh, they are terrible so we definitely need some good subtitles so uh, if any of you guys know a good uh, program that I can use to make subtitles on my videos 
please let me know because I definitely want to do that. I want to make my videos more accessible and a lot easier to navigate and so if you guys got tips or hints on any of that, let me know down below. Finally, last but not least, I've been using this app called Duolingo. So it's this little green owl and it helps you learn different languages. Right now I'm going through Spanish and it's been very helpful and you can compete with friends and that kind of thing and it's great. So if uh, you guys are on that, let me know. Um, so I've changed it so that my username now is my YouTube name. So it's this whole, it's now Optimus Chick. And so if you're on Duolingo, please find me and add me and then uh, we can see how each other are doing on uh, learning our different languages. And I want to be able to be bilingual one day. So actually, one more thing. So the last thing is this notebook, which is one of the notebooks that my old roommate gave me. And um, I have been using it to make a list of things that I want to do in life. I don't really like calling it a bucket list, I'd rather call them life goals because it sounds more positive. Uh, but I only have a page done so far. There are definitely more things in my head that I want to write down, but if you guys have a bucket list or some life goals, things that you want to do, for example, learn a foreign language, play Quidditch, uh, travel to France, write a book, something, let me know in the link, um, let me know in the comments down below and then maybe I can add some of those to my list and if you want me to share my list uh, also let me know and I'll maybe share my list with you guys in a separate video someday. Uh, so if you like this video give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more click that subscribe button for uh, or click click that subscribe button for uh, notifications when I make new videos which hopefully will be on a more regular basis now. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Bye!